Uh, hey guys, welcome back to this video series uh, about the different features and you know their respective workflows inside Meditab Online Classroom. I mean, the idea is to give you as much information and as an appointed information as possible to help you use the platform effectively and efficiently. Today, uh, we're going to look at the screen share feature. Uh, before I dive in, I would like to specifically point out that, you know, while there are many platforms out there and a lot of them, almost all of them offer screen share feature, but you know, what really differentiates us from the rest is the practical workflows, some nuanced, you know, uh, uh, elements that we have added to the screen shares. So uh, before I uh, uh, go into the screen share, let me go ahead and use the settings option and then click on pop-up chat so what this is going to do is this is going to help me stay on top of uh, the user questions while i'm sharing my screen but here inside merit Hub online classroom you have the option to bring the chat option outside of the classroom i'll, I'll show exactly show you with an example so let me go ahead and share my screen and what i am going to do is i am going to share my yep so right now I'm, I'm sharing my screen and I do have the you know the pop-up chat uh, right beside me and in case let's assume that you know one of the student kind of looks at the shared screen and they have a question and they simply go ahead and use the chat option to ask let's go there yeah, you see I have the question I can see the question right away I can go ahead and simply say yes please go ahead and so you have it I mean I, I have the chat pop out you know chat option and I can simply uh, stay on top of the user question and go ahead and respond them right you know if I come back into the clock so another thing what I can do yeah, it's in, the, in addition to the pop-out chat, I can also use this picture and picture option to kind of, you know, see what my students are doing. So in addition to this, I mean, I'm not sharing my screen. Uh, I'm not sharing my video. So you see here, I mean, I, I can simply, you know, use this option uh, in addition to chat. I, I can also stay on top of the user videos outside of the virtual classroom, right? I mean that that kind of you know that really helps. Let me down and again set this right. Yeah, I have the chat available to me at my disposal outside of the screen. And I do have the video, so let's come back into the classroom and close this. And uh, then let's now go ahead and. You know, give one of the student uh, the access to, you know, share their screen. So here I am. I do have the writing access. So now I can go ahead and share my screen. And as a student, I am going to go ahead and uh, select a window. Okay, let's see. Yeah, pod. allow so right now uh, I am sharing you know as a student I'm sharing my screen and here I am looking at looking at it as a teacher so this is this uh, teacher screen so let's let me see if I can do something okay if you see here I, I just you know uh, lowered this capture sort of block and if you see here here there is this option to you know, take a screenshot. So the idea is, I mean, the student, you know, they're sharing their screen and a lot of the times, uh, or I guess, you know, uh, when, when the student share their screen, what happens is you do not have any control over the navigation because it's coming from the student. So in, in those, you know, uh, instances or in situations where, you know, the students kind of goes ahead and uh, navigates a page up and down with no control as such. So this option to take a screenshot and bring that up as a virtual classroom tab. So I took the screenshot and it took the shape 
of a whiteboard tab so let me close this again uh, and you'll see you know uh, let me go to that student screen here and let me scroll down right and now come back to the teacher screen here you see here and I can simply go ahead and you know take the screenshot and it takes the shape of a whiteboard tab so now I'm no longer dependent or you know have to worry about you know whether the student kind of scrolls the page up and down because I took the screenshot and I can simply use the whiteboard you know different whiteboard tools to explain anything that I would like on using this very you know screenshot so again you know this is a, a very well thought out feature and it kind of really helps uh, the teachers so all in all so what we have uh, as part of you know the, the the screen sharing ecosystem if I may say so is that you know you have the ability to, to pump the chat out right I mean you can use this uh, to stay on top of user questions as you are you know sharing your screen you can also use uh, use a, a picture and picture option to also see the videos of uh, the students outside of the classroom and then you have this you know, amazing feature where you can quickly take a screenshot of you know, the, the shared screen and uh, it kind of you know, automatically loads onto in, inside the classroom as a whiteboard and you can use it to, sh uh, uh, to explain uh, anything that you would you know, like to rather than you know uh, depending or asking the students to stay on you know any specific element and not you know scroll up and down so all these uh, uh, features come together uh, not just you know the screen share there, there's so many others uh, for example we also added this I mean I'm, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk a, a little bit about the reaction uh, block I mean uh, let's do a re let's do a reaction from the student side so I mean you see uh, there's a reaction that you know came in from one of the students let's do another if I may from the student side let's do this one yep so uh, uh, all these you know uh, options and features kind of you know comes together and engages the learner more and offer you know, a connected learning experience so I hope uh, uh, that you know this small session that we did with regards to the screen share kind of really helps and uh, to sort of you know do a, a quick you know a revamp or uh, uh, to do a quick revision what you can do with the screen share is you can share your entire screen like this in addition to your uh, screen you can share the device audio you can share a specific application window or you can share a specific chrome tab even i mean in even the chrome tab you would be able to share audio while you know uh, sharing a specific uh, application won't give you the option to share uh, the device audio the way it does for when you share the entire screen or a specific chrome tab so thank you so much for your time uh, if you have any suggestions do let us know come we are always uh, no, uh, I mean we are very uh, keen listener when it comes to user feedback and if uh, you have ideas, feedbacks or you know, workflow improvements that's something that's going to help other users we would definitely look into it and uh, implement to improve the platform to ensure that you know it helps you and not just you but you know users across the